Hello everybody, this is uh, Harold's Proc Rock Show part uh, 79 entirely dedicated to the ranking of the 21 Deep Purple, Deep Purple studio albums, the famous English hard rock band. We, uh, we started in 1968 and is still very busy. Okay, first of all the live albums. This is the concert of a group and orchestra from 1969, if you like classical music then it's interesting the whole thing is written by john lord the late john lord the famous keyboard player then we have made in japan this is an iconic live album uh, made in japan from 1972 uh, it's in fact a machine head tour very good a real classic then we have made in europe with uh, david coverdale and glenn hughes in the band uh, also a good one uh, then we have uh, Nobody's Perfect uh, with a uh, classic lineup, Ian Gillen on vocals, uh, uh, Richie Blackmore on guitar, uh, Roger Glover on bass, Ian Pace on drums, and John Lord on keyboards. A very, very good live album. I really like this one. Nobody's Perfect. It's a tour from the Perfect Strangers album. It's from 1988. Very good recorded in Norway okay then we have uh, the last tour with Richie Blackmore from 1993 uh, come hell or high water water a very good album I like it this live album it's really good it's great uh, then we have uh, uh, with uh, Steve Morse in the band Steve Morse on guitar uh, the abandoned tour this is total abandon recorded in australia 1999 a very good double live album then we have uh, uh concert of a group in orchestra 1999 i've seen this show in the ahoy in rotterdam with uh, on uh, guest vocals ronnie james dio very good and um, this is of course the famous uh, classic album from 1969 recorded 30 years later Royal Albert Hall and it's a good one uh, I like it a lot a double album I've seen this tour uh, I've seen the Deep Purple three times in the 90s in Rotterdam um, and uh, it was the uh, the tour from uh, Perpendicular from Abandon and from the um, concert of a group in Orchestra okay very nice this is a B-Sides uh, CD okay then we go to the ranking this is number 21, uh, Slaves and Masters, with on vocals Joe Lee Turner. Uh, it's reasonable, but not essential. Uh, then uh, the House of Blue Light starts with an interesting church organ by John Lord. Uh, reasonable, but not essential. Then we go to the Book of Taliesin. This is from the late 60s. Shades of Deep Purple, also late 60s, with Rod Evans on vocals and another uh, guitar uh, player. Okay, uh, this is uh, self-titled, Deep Purple, also not essential, late 60s. Uh, Rapture of the Deep, reasonable. Bananas, also reasonable, with Steve Morse in the band and Don Airy on uh, keyboards. Uh, then we have uh, uh, from the mid uh, from seventy three uh, a leftover album from the uh, Gilmer from the Gillen uh, um, uh, band with uh, the purple. Okay, uh, then uh, we go to Stormbringer. Uh, now we have uh, Dave Gov Coverdale on vocals and Glenn Hughes on bass. This is a good album, and uh, the title track Stormbringer is uh, very good. And also very good is Soldier of Fortune, the last song. Soldier of Fortune, so, a short song with emotional vocals by um, David Coverdale and nice guitar work from Richie Blackmore. This is nice and the artwork is also very nice. Stormbringer. Okay, um, then we go uh, to uh, Infinite. Uh, that's a, a very recent album. Infinite is good. And um, I can recommend this one 
with Don Airy on keyboards and uh, Steve Morse on guitar. Then we go to the latest album, Whoosh, Whoosh. And Whoosh is a really good. And the best song of the album is number six. And that is Step by Step, Step by Step from Whoosh. I will show you a picture from the band. Um, one moment, please. Uh, also, uh, in this album, a uh, live uh, DVD, very good. Live at Hellfest 2017, uh, full show uh, and um, on the festival. It was very nice. Okay, here we have the band. Um, even kijken. Uh, Ian Pace on drums. Um, and uh, the other guys, uh, very nice, very nice, very nice. Uh, Steve Morse has uh, left the band, that's uh, a pity. Then they now have a, an, an, another guitar player. Okay, Deep Purple, great, great album. Whoosh, the latest one. Okay, buy this one. Okay, uh, then we go to uh, Purpun Dick, Purpun Dick, Dick from 1996 with, uh, for the first time, Steve Morse in the band. So Richie Blackmore, the guitar player, was out of the band and Steve Morse was in the band. And um, this was a big relief for Ian Gillen. And um, they made really good albums, very with lots of progressive influences. Um, and the best song of the album is uh, Sometimes I Feel Like Screaming, Sometimes I Feel Like Screaming. That's a ballad, ballad and it's really great emotional vocals. Very, very good song on Purpion Dickler. Uh, then we have uh, Come Taste the Band, the only album from 19, 1975, the only album with Tommy, Tommy Bolin on guitar. And Tommy Bolin died a year later in 76. Uh, after a concert with his own band. It was a sad story. Okay. Um, then uh, The Battle Rages On, the last album with uh, Richie Blackmore on guitar, early 90s, good one. Uh, then Abandon with Steve Morse, also a good one. Uh, then um, Now What, very good album with Don Airy on keyboards, very good. Uh, John Lord uh, has passed away. So Don Airy was the new keyboard player. I have a picture from the band at the Berlin Wall. Nice picture from Deep Purple. Now what? Really recommended. A great album. Very, very good. Now what? Deep Purple. Very good. Um, then uh, Perfect Strangers, also a really good album. This is in fact a comeback of Deep Purple in 1984 uh, in the classic lineup. And this is a good one, a really good. It's a classic, it's a classic album with uh, the title track Perfect Strangers and Knocking at Your Back Door. Okay, I have a picture from the band. Here we see the band. All five classic members. Very good comeback album from 1984. Um, then uh, uh, we go to uh, uh, Burn, that's in fact my number four in the ranking. Uh, Burn with David Coverdale and uh, uh, Glenn Hughes. And on this one we have uh, Burn, the title track, very good. And um, Mistreated, Mistreated is a really classic song from Deep Purple. It has been done live by Deep Purple, by Whitesnake and by Rainbow. Okay, great song, mistreated, real classic on this album. And also A200, that's a song by John Lord and he's freaking out on all his keyboards and on the Hammond organ and all the other keyboards. And A200 is a real progressive rock highlight. It's great. Number four, Burn. Then number three, Fireball. In the classic lineup, early 70s, Fireball. Then my number two, Machine Head, Machine Head. And on this one, we have lots of classic uh, Deep Purple songs. 
Yeah, this album is from 1972 and you have to buy this one. This has to be in your collection. Also from in the Procheads uh, collection. Um, on this one, Highway Star, Pictures of Home, Smoke on the Water, the famous song about uh, the burning of a hotel near the Lake Geneva, uh, where Frank Zappa was uh, uh, with his band. And the smoke was on Lake Geneva, so the smoke was on the water in Montreux, Switzerland, where the Purple were recording this Machine Head album. This is great stuff, stuff, a real classic, a real hard rock classic. In fact, Deep Purple invented the hard rock with Led Zeppelin and Black Sabbath. Okay, La uh, then we have also uh, Lazy and Space Trucking. Lazy and Space Trucking, all classic songs on this Deep Purple album, Machine Head. A really great album. Okay, then we go to my number one, that's of course in rock, in rock with the famous artwork with um, all the guys um, uh, be, uh, on uh, Mount Rushmore in the uh, United States of America, Mount Rushmore, Mount Rushmore, uh, that's really great. Um, and um, the five members has been put into the four presidents of the United States of America, and uh, now we see the five members. So Mount Rushmore National Park in uh, the USA. Here we see the five members from Deep Purple. It's a great artwork and it's their best album. On this one we have uh, Speed King, Bloodsucker and of course uh, Child in Time. Child in Time is maybe the most famous Deep Purple song and in my opinion Child in Time is their best song. Uh, this is real classic from 1970 and um, a hard rock monument with lots of progressive influences because of the keyboards from John Lord, the Hammond organ, and of course the great vocals from Ian Gillen, the n uh, very nice guitar work from Richie Blackmore, the great drums from Ian Pace and the bass work from Roger Glover. You have to have this album in your collection. It's fantastic. Fantastic, also for prog rock lovers. In rock, a real monument in music history. We have to buy this one. Great stuff. My number one in the Deep Purple ranking. Okay, then I have some other bands who are related to uh, Deep Purple. First of all, of course, Richie Blackmore's Rainbow with their best album, Rising, with on vocals Ronnie James Dio and on drums the late Cozy ba Powell. Um, in fact, Ronnie James Dio is also in heaven. Okay, uh, then we have White Snake, the band from David Coverdale, with their famous album 1987. Also, of course, released in that year. Then we have Don Airy with his best solo album, Tales of Mystery, Tales of Triumph and Tragedy, Tales of Triumph and Tragedy K2. Um, about climbing the highest mountain in Pakistan, K2, and it was a tragic uh, story because all uh, members uh, died. Don Airy, K2, very progressive, very, very good, very progressive album, highly recommended, lots of keyboards, K2, Don Airy, 1987. Then the solo album from Ian Gillen, Naked Thunder, nice one. And uh, Coverdale Page with uh, their nice hard rock album. Okay, this was my show about uh, Deep Purple, the ranking of the 21 Deep Purple studio albums. And um, I hope you liked the show. Give me a like, subscribe to my channel, and um, uh, uh, write a command. Okay, thank you. Bye. See you next time.